you see, those are they, those have been filled now, and at some point in the next few months, or next spring even, yeah. those will come out. And a lot of them have been filled, you haven't can see they? That, yeah, all yeah. those little, little yeah. spots there. And this one filled. just went in. Yeah, there's yeah. A yeah. Little and there's and in. a pretty blue guy there. Yeah. It's very hard to identify all these species, but they all um, they favor different things too, and different types of wood. You can't use cedar because they don't like the smell of it. You have to use hardwood, and the hardest thing about making this is so the holes in. Blocks. <laughs> Yes. We had blocks for two years and mm -hmm. then we exchanged okay. them yep. Yep. and Mike put in new blocks. Yeah. And the mesh is on here to keep the woodpeckers out, is it not? That's right, that, oh, yeah, that's here. right. Yeah. Because uh, there's a, there'd be a certain amount of predation. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you talk to Su Chen, you know, she says, well, that's just normal. Yeah. That's, yeah, it is. That's nature. I believe they put five larvae or four or five larvae in each hole and that they're all female, and the outside one is male. And so oh, he's really? Kind of like the sacrifice, the sacrificial larva. <laughs> Does he come out first? I, well, I think he's the one that gets eaten by the bugs, by the by the woodpeckers. Oh, yeah. right. Yes. That's yeah. a good point. I, see, I think Sue told us that. Maybe yeah, yeah. she did. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Be right there. Is the we got. Oh, that's salvia behind it. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was really in there. Uh, Anne and I have a plant for in here, but oh, yeah. it's been too dry to plant yeah. anything. Yeah. But you can see how some species, like that's Culver's root. Yeah. It was little, yeah. and it's just huge. The Ontario Horticultural Association had what, what they called a pollinator project. They gave out money to different groups, and they're trying to encourage uh, gardens like this throughout Ontario. See, the problem is a lot of our gardens don't have flowers that the bees like anymore. So this is designed to be a garden like that. So we got money from them. And we got money from, from the Peterborough Pollinators Group. Right? That's right. Yeah. They gave us these wonderful Beautiful calendars. calendars. Yes. And we sold them. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So we had a lot of money, and actually, we didn't even use a lot of it because everybody had a lot of plants. <laughs> up to donate. Yeah. I kept saying, no, come on, let's buy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, we bought the we did. And we some did. signage, and, we've and we got bought a the to service bear. Yeah, we yeah. did. Mm -hmm. We did. Oh, yeah. But it's so it's. Uh, yes, and the pollinator project is still all continuing. Different places now and see beautiful pollinators, like North Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got, the waterfront is just all pollinator things. It's, it's really fun to see. And there's well, also, sorry, there's also this new group, the Bee City group, right? Yes. And we're a yes. member, yes. we're a Bee City here in the Selwyn Township. township. Yes, that's and, right. And uh, Peterborough still needs to join, and there's some other groups around the area that are Bee Cities, but yeah, yeah we jumped on board on that one fairly quickly. Which basically makes you, you have to adhere to certain things, sure. right? And there's also the library garden now, right. that yes. they've had an initiative with the children, and we gave back the piece that we used to look after, and they've now turned it into a pollinator garden. Nice. We do help. need volunteers to help. Absolutely. This garden, in particular, is still looked after by the same five people that started mm. it. Mm -hmm. And we, we look after it regularly. It's always a challenge when it comes to volunteers. <laughs> volunteers, yeah. yes. But so, it's fun. It like, is. That's you learn so much once you, you get into, into gardening. Mm -hmm. I think it affects how we garden personally too. It sure. has for me anyway. Sure. Yes. I'm growing plants that are maybe not the most beautiful hybridized species anymore. Because mm -hmm. a lot of those hybrids don't like the bees don't like don't them. Like they don't like double flowers.